All right, it's week three of Season of the Chosen, Seasonal Challenges. Let's get started. Actually, before we get into this, I want to point out that a lot of these bounties are repeating, not per se exactly repeating, but they're repeating in a very pattern style. So we're always going to get a Gambit, Crucible, and Strike one, it seems. And then we're obviously going to get the Gold, Hammer Smash, Umbral Focusing, and do the new Seasonal Weekly quest for that week which is just the new um, Battlegrounds. But now this is the final week of the Battlegrounds, so I don't know what's going to replace that in the future weeks. I would really only focus on the unique ones each week going forward, and I would complete the sort of overlapping ones near the end of the season so that you can get them all done in fewer game sessions. So the Gambit challenges are actually a good example of this because there's only one playlist of Gambit. There's only one way to play Gambit. You're going to be doing all these things when you have them all available to you. You just have to play a couple matches and then you'll get a burst of Bright Dust and XP when you do that if you wait to the end of the season. Now for the Crucible one, that one is more picky because it's based on the weekly rotating Crucible game mode that's added in that week. And then the Strike one... You can have access to all the strikes all the time, so you, you, like, you don't have to run the Nightfall variants, but these do sync up with the Nightfalls typically. So number one, we got Contenders Ascent 3. Report to the War Table and the Helm and complete the Challenger's Proving 3 quest. This is just like the previous two weeks. Go to the Helm, go talk to the NPCs, listen to their dialogue, and get started with that quest. Your destination map will guide you through it. Number two, we got Golden Reaper. Acquire Cabal Gold by playing Strikes Gambit, Crucible, Public Events, and more. This seems like it's going to be a reoccurring thing, and since these challenges work retroactive, just keep acquiring Cabal Gold. It's just something you're going to passively do. It's easy as that. While we're here, why don't you go ahead and smash that like button? Number three, again, just like Golden Reaper, we got Crash and Converge, Smash Tribute Chest, and Focus Tier 3 Umbral Engrams. This is just another one of those reoccurring things where you just keep playing the seasonal content, smashing chests, and focusing engrams. At number 4 we've got Captain's Log. Leave no stone unturned aboard the Glycon. For this you have to find the 5 secrets within the Presage mission ship. There should be background gameplay of me showing you the locations now. At number 5 we've got Fell Save Forward. On Nessus earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. Just like before, this is just your destination-focused challenge. If you do this while you're getting precision kills, you're going to be advancing the seventh challenge as well. So that's what I would recommend doing. And number six, we've got Challenger's Apogee. Reach power level 1300 by earning powerful rewards and prime engrams. Well, this is just something that you're going to passively do. You know, make sure to do raids, pinnacle drops, powerful drops, that sort of stuff that's marked on the map. Nothing more to say here. At number 7, we've got Algorithmic Precision. Calibrate weapons with Precision Final Blows on Nessus. Like I was saying, just do Fail Safe Forward with Precision Final Blows. Just do those patrols, bounties, whatever, and get Precision Final Blows. You'll be done with this in no time. At number 8, we've got our weekly Gambit Challenge. This is Primeval Entourage. Defeat Taken and Gambit earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. At number 9, we've got Iron Sharpens Iron. Complete Iron Banner matches earn bonus progress for wins. Obviously, you're going to have to do this during an Iron Banner week, so you've got this week, and then you've got the next month, you've got one week, and the final month, you've got the final Iron Banner for the season. At number 10, we've got Challenge Our Foes, Complete Playlist Strikes. You have to complete five of them, you just do the Playlist Strikes. 